Hey everybody, it's Ray, and I just want to give you a really short tutorial on how to use Flipgrid and also how to set up a meeting in Zoom. So I'm going to go into our course because I just made some changes. This is what the home page looks like now. Here's a link to some readings that you had earlier in the semester. Here's a link to PowerPoint slides, and then of course a link to our syllabus. These links take you to information about grammar labs, our activity demonstrations, adjective clauses, infinitives, and gerunds, um, such as who your new groups are and what the different pieces of that assignment look like because I updated it. And then um, some information on the Grammar Pen Pal project, including a note there for you all to go in and update if you need to delete the name and email of a pen pal because they're not engaging or if you've already got a new person and you need to update the email from what we have on the list, please go ahead and do that. And if you're having any issues with pen pals, please email me. So if we go in here to March 10, or sorry, week 10, you can go into week 9 and into week 10. Actually, let's go into adjective clauses. There's not much here because the week is already over. But each week now will look like this. Monday will be readings, Tuesday will be asynchronous learning, either a video of mine or PowerPoint slides that I will voice over. Wednesday will be a discussion forum related to the topic of the week. Thursday we're potentially doing synchronous learning. We'll see how that goes next Thursday and decide if we should continue trying to meet online as a group or maybe just set up smaller group consultations from time to time. And then from Friday to Sunday, you've got time to complete your assignments. So for this week, uh, your assignments are linked here, and I'll talk through those in just a minute. And then I'll add some additional resources and ideas for you to build activities or just to see different ways of teaching a grammar point. So the first link just takes you to the assignment that existed before, which is where you're going to go and upload your actual activity plan that you do with your group members. The next one is related to Flipgrid, where you're going to go in there and actually post yourself giving an overview of your activity and then delivering the instructions of your activity. And then another assignment where you have to go into Flipgrid and actually respond to two of your peers' videos where they're giving a teaching demonstration, and those will be video responses. So I'm going to click here, and this will take us over to the online delivery. It just basically talks about what you're going to do for Flipgrid. So I'll let you read all of these details yourself, but this link right here takes you to the Flipgrid portal where you're going to post your video. So whenever you go here, it takes you out of Canvas and to this page. So this you'll see is for the adjective clauses activity. There are some whoops, sorry, brief instructions here. You only have five minutes to make your video. It could be shorter than that, but you have five minutes maximum. And those are the dogs, sorry. Um, for just a minute, you're going to introduce the activity. What's the age, level, and context of your activity? What's the purpose or the learning objectives? Um, what aspect of adjective clauses are you teaching, etc.? And then you're actually going to deliver the instructions for your activity. And I'm very excited to see that Lakin has already posted. Nice job, Lakin. Thank you. So when you get down here, you'll see the big old plus sign. When you click that, I'm not going to because you'll see my, my face um, and I'm in a dark basement. <laughs> but when you click that, your camera will go on on your phone or on your, um, your computer and then you can start recording your video. And then it'll show up here as a tile and all the tiles will, will pile in here together. So we won't watch it completely, but um, since we do have an example here, I do want to show you what you can do with her video. So when you click on Lakin's video. Okay, so relative clauses or adjective clauses. Um, okay, so we're not going to listen to her video, but I want you to see that down here you've got a little option to reply. Every one of you needs to respond to two different peers. It doesn't matter who you respond to. You can even respond to people in your own group if you'd like. But you're just going to click on this little bubble here. And then when you do that, if you haven't already logged in, you're going to log in with your Google or Microsoft or whatever. And then you can leave a video response for, um, for your classmate. So that's all you have to do for that. The other thing I wanted to show you is Zoom. So let me go out here. Um, well, 
to get to Zoom, you have to go to this address here, which I'll, I'll make sure is linked in Canvas, but it's cuboulder.zoom.us. And when you get in there, you will have to download Zoom if you don't already have it on your device. If you do, you just log in with your CU identity. So I'm going to go here to this link, log in with my identity. I'm already logged in. So let's say I want to schedule a meeting. I'm going to schedule a meeting by doing this. Name it whatever you want. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because now the Grammar Labs will be online. So you might call it like Grammar Lab Adjective Clauses. And then you can just go down here and see what day it would be. So this would have been this past Wednesday, for example, but let's pretend it's this coming Monday. We know this is happening at one o'clock until two o'clock for our students. And then just make sure that the video is on for the host and the participants. I like to let people join before I get here in case they come early, they're not sitting waiting. And then you just simply save it. And then this is the link for your meeting that you are going to copy and email to me so that I can provide that information to the IEC instructors and they can share it with their students and then they can come to your grammar lab. So another thing you can do is hit copy the invitation. This allows a lot more information so people can join by mobile, um, but really we kind of just want people joining with this link. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how to work with Zoom and Flipgrid, and I know that was quick and hopefully made some sense, but feel free to email me if you have any other questions about that, and uh, yeah, I'll make sure this is available in Canvas.